so I guess we're gonna do a one quick take or literally while I'm standing here but I literally just finished my last day so sad like hopefully I get to come back at the end of the summer they said I did really good I learned really quickly I had to teach myself how to do everything because they were short staffed this week so basically like they were very busy because they were missing one of like their main like assistant editors so basically like I had to teach myself how to do everything but I did really good learned it really quickly it was awesome I ended up working 11 hours today <laughs> so I basically gave them an extra hour of my time unpaid but I guess it evens out because I got out early two days this week but it's like I'm getting ready to leave about to go she's gonna like organize a couple of folders and all of a sudden I look and all the fucking like footage for day two of the shoot was imported because I was working on a show and then I had to wait for the rest of the stuff to get imported so I'm like okay like what can I do they're like okay work on this project so I was working on this project and then I did that for like two hours like what do you call it? Auto synced it. And then, what is it? Did the multi grouping and grouped all the footage with the audio. So I did that. And then I go into the other project thinking like nothing's gonna be imported because I was waiting hours for it to import. To find out that like all of the second day of shooting was imported. So like, there you go. Like, work on this fucking show. It's like, it's awesome though because I love reality television. It was a reality TV show. Again, can't say anything, fucking non-disclosure agreements, like, do you want to get your entire life sued away? That's basically what you have to do when you're an editor. Like, imagine the people who edit, like, The Bachelor are going around like, oh, you want to, I don't even watch the show, but do you want to know who got the final rose? Like, if they did that, they would basically get sued. So it's kind of like, it's the same concept. You can't tell people what happens in the show or within the episode or what happens behind the scenes because it's really interesting. I learned a lot about television production just from watching all the, because... Sometimes they'll just shoot for like 45 minutes straight and you literally see the in-betweens. It's really interesting. Like this is stuff they don't obviously show on television. And every time I vlog in public, I now think my phone's gonna get stolen because I've heard so many things about that. So like now I'm like kind of huddled in a corner like hoping my phone doesn't get stolen but there's like a person over there and now I'm kind of like freaking out but that's not the point. Oh my God, this is a place. I was literally in front of a place that I was thinking of that I was gonna get something for my mom from there for my birth. So for my birthday, I was gonna get my mom something from there, okay. My track just got posted. I'll wait for the rush to go and then I'll go on the train because I don't feel like getting stuck in the rush. And my train does not leave for another 10 minutes. And again, don't feel like getting stuck in a rush. <sighs> so, yeah, it was a great week. Hopefully I get to go back at the end of the summer. Literally, my aunt is probably on a plane right now. No, I lied. She probably doesn't get on the plane for six hours. But my aunt and my uncle are getting on a plane in like six hours. Their time to fly all the way across the country to come visit. So literally... I think she gets in at like 7 o'clock my time, which means that like she'll probably be at my house before I even wake up because I worked 10 hour days this week, literally was up at 4 a.m. I was going to say 4 a.m. and 4 in the morning at the same time, 4 in the morning every fucking day this week and I didn't go to sleep till like late, so yeah. <sighs> Stayed an extra hour, gave an extra hour of my time, making a lot of money, making a lot more money than I did prior to this, so it's all good. And then I'll be poor again because I'm not making that much money at camp because as if you didn't know, camp counselors literally make like fucking nothing. Like I'm probably barely not, I'm not even hitting minimum wage because you just get paid like one lump sum for an entire summer, for like 10 weeks. So you probably literally get paid like a dollar an hour. <laughs> like fuck. And now I get to go deal with like the smelliness of people because I'm probably going to go on the plane, plane train and it's going to smell like asshole because apparently everything smells like asshole. And did I, I did go to the bathroom, I did pee, but I did forget to fill up my water before I left my job. I don't know why it didn't dawn on me to fill up my water bottle, but that's probably good because now I won't have to pee on the train, won't have to use a train bathroom, won't have to use a fucking whatever bathroom. Speaking of yesterday when I was getting on the train, or I was getting off the train, or something about the train. I saw one of my old teachers from high school. <laughs> so if you wanted to know, I just nodded out my nose and I'm gonna go. Yeah.